Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. I'm talking with an old friend, Andrew Coward, who is the founder and the CEO of Lumina Networks. Andrew, great to see you. Thanks for coming Thank in you. straight off a long flight. You're not showing many signs of jet lag yet, but yes. who knows what will happen. <laughs> if you fall off the chair, we'll pick you up. Let's begin with this. Um, first of all, you've received at Lumina, which what was spun out of Brigade, uh, last August, so nine months ago or so, you've just received your uh, Series A funding, $10 million. Obvious question, where did the money come from, who gave you it, and what are you going to do with it? Yep, so um, <laughs> we're very fortunate that uh, Verizon uh, have led this investment round, um, also involved at AT&T, um, and a number of uh, angel investors who have been with us from, from day one. Um, so that's kind of where the money's come from. Uh, obviously, both AT&T and Verizon very much involved in, in open source and networking um, and the Open Daylight Project. And so, obviously, this was a, a kind of natural extension of that work to, to, to want to make sure that companies like Lumina are successful in the marketplace. From a product perspective, what we're doing with the money, uh, a couple of things. Um, we're continuing to productize Open Daylight into specific use cases, use cases around the wide area network um, the core, the MPLS core of networks, and in the data center. And not just with service providers, with, with web scale and, and large enterprises too, um, who kind of recognize the same, the same movement and, and basically want to make sure that open source is a foundation for the, for the network going forward. Um, also, geographic expansion. Uh, so we've had success, obviously, in North America uh, with at and Verizon. Um, also in Australia, we've had, had success there. We'll, we'll actually ex expand our office locations in Japan, um, and put more resources into our existing um, offices in the UK, uh, where we recognize a, a, a very big opportunity in Europe uh, to kind of really grow in the same way as the US carriers have in, into the carrier space uh, and large enterprises there too. Andrew, you mentioned a couple of times Verizon, and we know that Verizon led out with this Series A funding followed by AT&T and your angel investors, Michael and Gabriel and the others. Um, but seriously, Verizon have been very supportive of Lumina from the very outset, have they not? What's the relationship like with them? Yeah, I, I don't think we'd have left Brocade as, as Lumina Networks without the support of Verizon um, as a customer from, from day one. And um, certainly we've been involved, very involved with, with projects they have in, in um, open source and open daylight to basically automate and digitize um, the services that they have across the network. So, so this has been a, a kind of strong relationship uh, and really uh, as, us as Lumina being able to provide the services that they need so they in turn can, can bring open source to, to their network. Do you think it's the first time that uh, Verizon and AT&T have actually invested in the same company at the same time? Well, it's probably the first time they've jointly invested in an open source networking company um, such as Lumina Networks for sure. Um, and uh, you know, if you look at the reasons why they would both come together and do that, then it's fundamentally around the fact that open source is key to the future of their networks. And so rather than sit on the sidelines investing uh, in a company that's, that's really set its sights on delivering solution sets and skills into that environment, it's really key to them. Andrew, can we talk about partnerships? We're told constantly how important partnerships are in the global communications industry. You at Lumina have been a torchbearer for Open Daylight from the very off. Can I ask you how this is playing out with the greater vendor community? And what I'm really asking is, do they see you as a friend or do they see you as a foe? Well, certainly uh, pretty much the entire vendor community ends up working with us um, to deploy into the networks um, in, North, in North America or, or Asia or wherever. Uh, and so consequentially, we end up with um, agreements with, with pretty much all the major vendors as a consequence. Uh, and we work with them um, on debugging and, uh, and making the, the Yang models or the net couple of things we do work, work smoothly together. Um, now, sometimes they're less willing than others, uh, depending on what we're doing. What's interesting too, though, is that um, quite a number of, of, the, of the vendors who, who need to be able to put a, an open source card on the table with the customer and say, yes, we, we do work with this and we can bring this in, are partnering very strongly with us uh, into customers in Europe particularly uh, to demonstrate that, you know, yes, we do get this and we're working with, with Lumina Networks. Well, Andrew, um, nine months in, uh, you've got a new round of funding in. Congratulations on that. Onward and upwards, I suppose. Yeah. 
Thanks very much indeed. Thanks, Martin.